Hey everyone, how's it going? This is California Hiker. Today I'm at a place called Caswell State Memorial Park. Um, I've never been here before, but today I think I'm going to hike some of the trails. Um, from what I've read, there's not a whole lot of trails. Most of them are just a couple of uh, quarter miles, but they all connect. Well, everyone, you can see we're now on the tree line trail. Now this trail I believe is only about 0.7 miles and eventually dead ends but another trail intersects it to connect to the rest of the park. See it's a dark trail. You've got some heavy or somewhat heavy underbrush over there and then on the other side of course you have the fence line. Now uh, um, on the other side of that fence of course is uh, it's been developed into um, some type of orchard. I'm not sure what tree they're planting there but um this is one of the last, I believe it's called riparian or something like that, I can't pronounce it. One of the last riparian oak forest or oak areas um, in California. All the others were developed, like you see right across the fence. And that's why it's been preserved. Uh, Mr. Caswell back in the uh, early 1900s, uh, um, I guess decided to donate it to the state so that it wouldn't be lost forever. See, we're coming up on another trail. This one is also marked. This one is called the Gray Fox Trail. And if you look at the map you, they give you when you're out, um, when you go, to, when you enter the park, you'll be able to name all these trails. It's all on the map. You see, we're still on the fence line trail. So we're gonna follow this until it ends. Then we're probably gonna have to come back and uh, take this trail. Back with you guys in a few. Guys, I wish I could have got that on video for you. What I'm at right now, as I was coming in and I was looking at this sign trying to read it. And uh, it's the River Bend Trail where it intersects the, the Tree Line Trail. And as I'm way back here, as I'm just as I'm walking by, I glance from there and I look out of the corner of my eye, I see something, so I look over. And it's coming out of the, the bush right there and crossing it. And then it starts running down the trail. And at first I thought it was a deer, but it's, it wasn't. It, as I looked at it, it looked too small. And then it stopped right where that tree is way back there. And it looked back at me. Um, it was a coyote. There was a coyote out here. It, it stopped and it looked at me and then it dashed back onto the left side of the bush and I was just like, wow. Well, everyone, it's called Hidden Lake Trail. We're still on the Freelance Trail. And we should be coming across a hidden lake any minute now because it does uh, pop up right beside the trail according to the map. Um, so it should be here any minute now. Back with you guys in a few minutes. See the trail, uh, we have to end here. See, it keeps going for a little while longer, but we've covered the majority of the tree line uh, trail. See, they're doing some restoration, so we'll stop. But uh, we do have the, what's the name of this trail? It's called the Rabbit Run Trail. It goes off that way, so we're going to hike that one. See where it takes us. I have to look at the map. I'll get back with you guys in a few minutes. Everyone on the Hidden Lake Trail. It's just a loop. I'll get back to you guys when I see the lake. Status Lost River. River Bend Trail now. Took uh, the Hidden Lakes Trail and uh, connects with the River Bend Trail. It's another loop that we're doing right now, and then it will connect with, uh, I believe, the Majestic Oak Trail. <coughs> so, back with you then. Animal diggings, you can see where they've been digging along here. Might be a turkey or something like that. And seeing these all up and down the trail. Partly cloudy today. You can see right here, there's this huge oak tree right here. This is the main attraction for this park, is the big oak trees. That one's just huge.
How's it going? Right now we're on the Gray Fox Trail. And I believe this is a trail that I saw that uh, either it was a fox or a coyote, but I'm starting to think it was a, a fox. But um, it's this the trail. You can see we got some more beautiful California oaks that are native to this area. I've only seen two other people here today. And uh, they just uh, walked by me about 20 minutes ago. So in the winter, this place is definitely pretty uh, quiet. So if you want some good hiking in uh, San Joaquin County, this is definitely the place to go if you want some easy day hiking in the winter time. Get back with you guys in a while. Miss this, guys. But um, look at that. These, I believe, are either, now, no animal print X, but these are either fox or um, uh, coyote. But we got a hawk out here hawking at us. You can see the way he went down the trail. So he just goes down the trail and then he stopped right here and kept going. Or Actually, that's a different footprint. So that's where they both intersected at one point and it looks like they kept going in both directions. Probably not at the same time. You can see there are my footprints. First one on the trail after it rained last night. But wow, I just saw those footprints. Back with you guys later. Well, we got a, we got like a crane way over there, I'm trying to, it's in the river right now, I don't, you probably can't see it, but I'm watching it, I'm going to try and get closer to it, as close as possible up here, I don't know if you can see it from here, but it's way over there, it's walking right now. and you hear them all flap off and have a flying around and everything. This is just amazing. This is why I love nature because they just fly. There's one directly above us right now that's hiding behind that bush. Wow. This is amazing. I love it. When you can see this is a plaque discussing the history of the area. There was an Indian chief named Estanalo Laos. I can't pronounce his name. Um, for which the county and the river that is in the park is named after. And um, this is a plaque talking about um, him fighting the Spanish and uh, what happened to him eventually. You can see there's another plaque over there discussing um, how the Indians made, a, how the Indians used acorns to um, eat. And on the other side of that, there's a, another plaque about uh, Chief Estanos. I'd like to finish this video off by uh, just showing you guys this is the trails that I hiked. You see all the trails are situated in this area. I started right there, did all of this, came back, did all this. Now this can be done in an hour or two, believe it or not. It's not. It's very easy hiking as you saw. Um, but as for the rest of um, Caswell Memorial State Park, you can see this is, a, this is all camping up here. You can see there's a couple of beaches along the river and then uh, the far um, western edge of the park is uh, no hasn't been developed into anything it's pretty barren and that's just for wildlife to enjoy but uh, overall the hiking here is pretty easy and um, 
it's enjoyable. You know, you do see wildlife here. So, uh, like I said, if you're interested in Cats Memorial Park, you can see that's where it's located in California. Not too far from Whippin. It's real close to Whippin, California. And also Highway 99 and I-5. Back with you guys later.